Hello guys. Uh, today I will speak about uh, something very very important. A uh, lot of traders and investors and those who follow me and comment, they send me private messages uh, telling me that the stop loss uh, will be in no use in 26 February next year 2016. Okay? So it's like three months from now. Now, this, I, I go and check, it's true, it's true, for the two major exchanges, which is NYSE, or New York Exchange, and NASDAQ. But it's only for those, it's not for all the other exchanges, small exchanges. And when you, when, uh, when you want to do a stop loss you should from now call your broker if he routed all your orders to these two exchanges so there will be no stop loss they will not be accepted but if you wrote your orders to, either, to other exchanges, it will be fulfilled. Okay, now let's go back. Why these two major exchanges want or want, want you not to use a stop loss? I have read that it is because volatility uh, and some stuff of the market system. It's not true. It's not true what they say. The reason for that is they want to have more control on the market. Let's say, I give you a simple example to understand the situation. You bought a stock $100. Okay? For a few, few weeks, one week, two weeks, three weeks, it doesn't it doesn't go that far up or down. It just it stays in the same range. Now, one day, a big investor or investors or mutual fund, they want to get rid of this stock. Now, when they buy, they buy slowly this stock, in two months, six months. They buy slowly, but when they want to get rid of the stock, what they do, they sell off all their shares at once. Now, what will happen in the market? The stock in the morning, let's say in the morning, or in the afternoon, or wherever, wherever they decide to sell. So, it's something which is sudden. No one knows. And then you begin to see your stock plunge, go down. Now, for those who put stop loss, one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, let's say it's one hundred today. You put stop loss at one one dollar or two or three or four or five, wherever you put your stop loss. Okay. Next day, when if you don't put stop loss, what will happen? For those who don't who put and the others who don't put, what will happen? For those who put stop loss, what does it mean stop loss first? Stop loss is when your stock is going down, you can't bear that much uh, loss. So you calculate the loss and you ask the market to take only what you decide. Okay? you control your money it's not the exchange that controls your money because the, the exchange they want your money okay understand that the big traders the big investors uh the big hedge funds the big mutual fund they want your money and you there is no way to to uh, protect yourself except you using stop loss when you when the stock is going down okay let's say bad news or wherever or just a mutual friend who wants to uh, sell off his, his share of this company 
let's say the stock goes from 100 it goes to $80 in one day it lost 20% um, uh, yeah, it, it lost 25%. Okay? Now, uh, yeah, it lost 20%, it's 80. The stock was 100. Next day, you find it's 80 dollars. You lost 20% of your money. Now, the other guys who put stop loss at $1, 2 or 3 or 5 what they lose? They lose 1%, 2%, 3%, 5%, but they don't lose 20%. And then, what's the difference? The, the, there is a big difference. When you hold a stock in swing trading and you lose 20% in one day, this is too much to bear as a trader or as an investor. It's too much 20%. Okay? Go to your paycheck and take 20% of your paycheck. Do you accept that? It's too much. Now, these major two exchanges, they don't want you to get out with a small loss. They want you to stay until you get, until they take all your money. Okay? And if you hold your stock the they will sell on a higher amount of money for example if you sell also the stock will go down very quick so they don't want that they want some people to buy when they are selling okay so what's the difference let's say these two traders one he uses stop loss and the other he doesn't use stop loss if you get 20 percent in one day and you continue to hold you don't know where the stock will go maybe maybe you lose 25 percent 30 percent 40 percent this happen and will happen each each time with some with some stocks not all but with some stocks and when you lose 20 percent 30 percent or 40 percent you think that the market will go up again and make your money this is what you wish and what you hope but what is the guarantee okay is there a guarantee in the market or someone from the exchange tells you if you get 20 percent loss uh, next year you will get your 20 percent and then you will have 10 percent or 20 percent uh, profit no they take your money that's it and in the future only go only god knows what will happen in the future okay so these two exchanges want to take stop loss which is the right of the trader it's not the right it's your right it means uh you want to exit i'm free to exit at any price i want there is no exchange these two exchanges who wants you not to use a tool that that you protect yourself there is no other way out why they don't for example um uh take the limit order why they take just a stop a stop loss order what we call stop order why they don't take for example limit order also they say no don't put limit order because limit order most of the time it can be filled now how the exchange when they get a limit order he can play over this order okay he the price can jump over this limit order and they will never be filled and maybe you have done this before and you see that although you put a limit order and it hasn't been filled and then you lose too much money it's the same so limit order they control more the market and the money of the trader then a stop loss a stop loss when you put stop loss at any price when the price goes to that stop loss it becomes a market order what does it mean a market order a market order is the exchange is obliged to fill your order by the law of the rules of the exchange now for them right now they want not to be obliged 
okay? Not to be obliged to fill your order when you need to. And this is, for me, is a bad thing for traders. Not a good thing. It's a very bad thing. This is the freedom that you have in the market. To exit the trade as you like, okay? Anyone is in home, or you are in office, or you are at work, or you are wherever you are. Okay, I want to exit at, at a price. I put my stop, or, uh, stop order to leave the market at this price and to have my money safe in my account. Because the money in the market is different from the, when your money is in the account. When you, st for example, as the example I gave, from 100, you lose, for example, let's say one dollar or two or three. Let's say you do, uh, you do two, uh, two dollar stop loss. Let's say you buy 100 shares at $100. So it is $10,000. Now $10,000, what do you lose? You lose only $200 when you put stop loss. Now, if you don't put stop loss, what will happen? Let's say the stock has gone 20% down. You lose $2,000. Okay? If you have $100,000, what do you lose? You lose $20,000 from your money. This is what they ask you to do. They ask you, okay, uh, t don't take your money. Stay like an investor. Understand that trading is not investing. Trading is you follow the movement of the price, either up or down, to make money in a short time of period, period of time. Let's say a few days, few weeks, or few months, but not years. Because when you stay years, this is called investing you are investing in the company you know the company you invest in it and you want um, a profit f through the years not now but through the years it goes up or down fluctuations they don't care that much they care about the outcome after a few years okay but swing trading is not to wait few years it's only to 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 stay few months or few days or few weeks depending on the situation so you have to protect your uh, profits okay let's say the stock has gone 20 percent up and you have a profit and you say to yourself okay i have 20 dollars a profit for each share let's say the stock was 100 dollar it goes to 120 dollars after a few weeks now you should protect this money because at any moment they can take the market can take all your profit. If you put, for example, a stop loss at uh, eighteen or seventeen or fifteen dollars, now when you put a stop loss, you get this profit on time when the market is against you. Now let's say you don't put stop loss to protect your profit. What will happen? Let's say it is, it is one, 120 and one day a big guy, a big mutual fund, a hedge fund, they sell off their, their shares and the stock from 120, it goes to 100. So you stay many months, one month or two or three, you give this a 20% or $20 per share and then in one day you lose all this thing as if you have done nothing. This is what the exchanges want you to do they want you to be like an investor the government also they push people to be an investor why they push you to be an investor because your money is locked and they use your money in other in other ways because when you when you give them your money let's say you have 100 shares of facebook this is just an example 100 shares of facebook is just a number but the money, the real money that you send them, they are elsewhere. You don't know where the where your money is. It's in the market. Well, but what is this market? All the money is the market. Why, if you ask yourself, why the government, um, the IRS, uh, tax you less, only 15% when you are an investor, but tax you more, like 25% or 30% or 35% when you are a trader? Because they don't want you to go uh, to to go in and out, in and out and out. They want to lock the money because they use your money in other other ways. 
and they give you for example when you see your account what do you see you see only numbers these numbers are real numbers yes a real number real money but when you invest your money you don't know your real money where it is okay the government or the exchange they say we have your money because you buy shares shares is just a virtual thing okay you you see it only on your account it's virtual it's not something that it is physical you don't go to Facebook and you have a uh, part of the block uh, in Silicon Valley or something you don't okay you have only a virtual uh, number or virtual paper that that it is uh, online okay but your real money you don't know where it goes that's why the government and the exchange they want to control more the money of the traders of investors and to, and to lock them because they need this money okay they take this money they do whatever they want to do with this money but for you since you are an investor you don't ask about your money again okay because you are you are not selling but these guys who are doing swing trading or day trading or scalping they put the money in they get out they put in and out so the government and the exchanges they don't like this idea of the money which is going out and in out and in they want to control more the money when it is stable when they have all the money for themselves and they and you you just get the results of the market a trader should control and manage his money where he enters to the market when he gets out it's no business of the exchange to tell you no you shouldn't do stop loss or you do put uh, limit order or you put wherever it's not their business but since they will do it in the 26th uh, 26th of february next year like two months from now uh two months and a half or three months now there are many other exchanges that accept the stop order so don't worry about this but you should ask your broker if their orders is routed to to the exchange they will tell you they will tell you that from no no uh, from this time in the future you are not going to use a stop loss okay but for uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, exchanges or small exchanges that all accept stop order so don't worry about this so you put stop loss stop loss order after february 26 it will work and you will protect yourself because the people they don't know what is the end of these things they do okay don't be naive and they say for example <clears throat> that that people who use a stop loss there are just few okay this is the numbers they give us okay and it's not an excuse uh, to take uh, an order that it is used for hundreds of years it's 200 years from the market it's always used right now they want to stop it because of some reasons that i have explained more control on the money of the traders and the investors they want you to hold the position that you lose too much why should i lose 20 percent or 30 percent or 50 percent in my position why is that okay they know that the people they can't be in the market all the time they work for example uh, swing traders and the other they have other things to do so they want you either to be a day trader you see your uh, you see your uh, money and then you send a market order directly without uh, stop order and then market order they want you to be there or they will not uh, fulfill your um, your uh, thing there is another option for those who um, um who maybe they have ex they they wrote their uh um their trades or their orders to these two exchanges nasdaq and uh, new york exchange uh, there are some people who uh who can use alerts stock alerts price for example you put stop loss and you say okay if uh, if if the price goes down to this price they will send you an alert okay there are a lot of uh, right now they, they they have a lot of people who have alerts either paid alerts or free i don't know people they do 
and uh, when you see the thing you can exit your trade by market order from cell phone or from a PC or from an iPad or wherever wherever you can go online and uh, sell your stuff okay so this is in general so don't worry about the stop loss because there are there are a lot of exchanges that the orders are routed to so don't worry a lot about this and um, and uh, it's it's just fine it's just fine and uh, I don't know what will happen later after 26 uh, of um, of uh, February for these two exchanges and how the market will be uh, will be uh, changing but we will see after okay we'll see after what will happen and what what are the reactions of the traders uh, those who are affected by these two exchanges but most of the time people they use uh, other exchanges like ECN like other there are a lot you can you can check them and you can ask your broker what are the um, options available and uh, you can direct your uh, orders to other exchanges okay and please if you have any other information that you know or any reasons that you think they are true or just your opinion just comment on this uh, uh, video and give me your opinion and what do you think about this and um, if you need uh, uh, more details you can send me a private message the email is always on the top of the um, on the um, uh, description and uh, that's it thank you very much and have a nice day